Hi, everybody. This is A Wee Bit of Alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we'd like to complete the Yong Ching Fu 13 original postures. Last week, we got all the way to the uh, to the the push um, and Anjin. And then we, uh, so from there, we just have a couple of movements to get to the get to to the end of it. And um, so uh, before we do that, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, breaking down the individual energies as you're as you're doing it. So a lot of people, you know, speak to me like they say, you know, what do you think about while you're doing your form or yeah, I don't like to think. I just want to uh, dissolve into the movements. I don't want to have to think about anything. And th those are, you know, perfectly cool. You can think about stuff. You can not think about stuff. Uh, and uh, you're going to get benefit no matter what you do. But from the alchemy part, when we're talking about like, okay, how do we get more stuff out of our form? I find it important to be able to identify mentally what it is I'm doing as I'm doing it, but I don't want to get caught up too much in, in what am I going to do, do next or whatever, because then I go into a hyper rational state and I don't want to, I don't want to do that. So we're talking about moving into a state of super consciousness where we get that body mind spirit integration and we're able to to know without thinking and but we can also think so the uh, when we get the body mind spirit integration going then the mind and the body and the spirit are all like you know equal partners in this in this venture so you're able to shift in that state you're able to shift easily between thinking about stuff and also moving into that you know the what that empty space the no mind space the the wu shin is uh, the Chinese term for it wu shin is like the gap between thoughts where you're able to to move into that and which point the you know everything is unified and you're able to direct your intention without ha having it mediated by the rational mind and so you're not distilling it down into thinking about the what ought to I be doing right now kind of a thing, but you're actually just, you just know, you know what's happening. To get to that state in the form, well, let me rephrase that. You can get to that state anytime you want. And we've covered that many times in the in these sessions. And uh, um, each time we get into that state where we're consciously feeling and doing, we are accessing our superconscious. And then once we're in that door, then there's a whole vast spectrum of awareness that, that we can explore in that superconscious state. So the we can get there anytime we want. But that doesn't mean your your Tai Chi is gonna be any uh, be as good as you would like it to be, just because you're in a superconscious state. That just means you feel good and you're very aware and your mind is clear and you're centered and everything but it's learning in that state that is you being able to go to that state and then to learn new stuff so that you can access that in that super conscious state anytime you want that's where the kung fu comes in that's where we practice and we have to approach these things with a certain level of what they say, you know, in the classic, they say sincerity. That is, you got to, it got to, it has to matter to you that you are doing these things. And so it requires this little dance between thought and no thought. So you're able to toggle back and forth between object based consciousness, where you're, you're identifying this and not that. And, those are like those other things, and you're able to stack things into into categories and the like. You're able to identify things as discrete objects in your consciousness. That's that's one form. The other is this 
non-objective awareness where there are no objects, they're just now. There are no objects, there's no, there's, nothing has, has any identity. There's, there are no things in object or non-objective awareness. And we're doing that little dance between them in a super conscious state. And we're able to access both easily. So when we're going to, in our applying this to the Taiji transform, you know, we learn these different postures and they each have their own quality to them. There, there's, there's an energy associated and we have, we have a rough set. There's like the, the eight gates, the eight energy gates, the Ba Men, you know, we've talked about those in the past and, you know, the, the first four are the, really the primary ones. That's Pong Lu Jian or uh, ward off, roll back, press and push. And then we go into, into the other energies as well, the other jins as well. But the, uh, we want to really get that really stable in those four primary energies so that uh, we can easily access the feeling of them so that it doesn't require a lot of ramp up. It doesn't require a lot of thought to be able to access them anytime we want. The trick is, though, in order to be able to not think, you have to think. You have to be able to, in order to have, do it with no effort, you have to put in some effort. So there's this, this kind of paradox that, that we play with where you're actually having to work at it in order to not work at it. And so that means to bring your mind to the game and then also be willing to let go of that and move into the state which is beyond your rational thinking and be able to just, just be able to feel into it. And when we are able to do that, we start to be able to, to identify these individual qualities, these, you know, particularly let's say the, these four basic energies, then we can start to build on that and, and create more uh, possibilities. And a lot of the Tai Chi Fan forms are combinations of the different energies and put in different shapes so that you can explore those different energies in different shapes. So, but we have, you know, these four basic shapes that uh, allow us to practice and identify these qualities. So we have our ward off posture, we have is we have Pong Jin, and that's an up and out kind of energy. So we get into that we get into that ward off shape and it allows us it allows us to remember what that feels like to have that that jin uh, expressed through our bodies then we go into our rollback which is lu jin and that's a down and in energy and so we're taking that energy we're absorbing energy and and neutralizing it or redirecting it so that that's a it's going from yang to yin. Pong is going from yin to yang. And then we get into qi jin, which is the way we, we did it this, this time. We, the outer arm is pressing in. So it's, it's, it's yin energy. The outer arm and in, in, in pong is, is, is yang, but this one is yin. That means it's, it's moving in toward me. The left hand, in this case, is, has shifted also, it's now the young energy. It's pressing out. So the two are pressing together because we're getting young and yin kind of moving in toward each other. So we get that. And then we go into on jin, which is a n jin. Uh, that's, that's the push. And here it's not just a, a shoving away. It's actually you're sinking down into the earth and you're really getting very sung as you with your body as your arms are extending outward there but they're not pushing away so the the word the, the 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 identification of the posture is a bit of a misnomer you're not really pushing what you do is you're reaching and you're allowing that energy to be expressed through your through your hands so we're coming up we sink down compress and then ah it comes out so it ends up being like this you're creating this big wave, this energy wave coming out. And so that's where the, the, the fun of these particular 
postures is for me. It's like where you're getting, you're delving into the energies and you're learning to, to be conversant in them so that they're just a thought away. So it's not, it doesn't require any ramp up. You know, you, as soon as you say Lu, Lu Jin, you can get into that in any shape because you know the energy. It's not just a rollback. It's like, oh no, you can have, you can not move and have Lu Jin if you are, if you get so familiar with it that, you know, you are, you know, the feeling, you are intimate with the feeling of it. So uh, first we're going to explore those four jins. Then we're going to do the form all the way through. And then we're going to uh, do the last few movements of the form. And uh, so the, uh, uh, we'll finish that up today. Okay. So let's, uh, would you stand up, please? Okay, so we'd like to start by getting our three pillars in. And so we have our three pillars are, first of all, we want to have our central equilibrium. That is, our body is aligned in such a way as we are able to contact the yin chi of the earth, the yang chi of the heavens, and move through you. So you're, you're actually plugging into the big chi. And we start that off by, by sinking into the balls of your feet on the inside of your foot. So there, the balls of your foot, you know, not, not on the outside, but right along the big toe line there, that big knobby bone there at the, uh, at, at the big toe, just below the big toe. That's uh, the, um, um, we want uh, to feel into that. That's our orientation point. Knees are on lock, so you're sinking down. You're locking into the, you know, releasing down into the earth. You're feeling your weight, you know, throughout your foot, but you're, we're focusing on right now on the, the, the ball of the foot. And that gives us more of a yang impulse. It tends to fill up the system, you know, at least to start. Reach up at the crown of your head, right there at the back of your head, at the posterior fontanelle, your hair whirl, that soft spot there, reach up with that, tuck in your chin and open the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. So we're that just feel, you wanna feel your head reaching up and separating from your, from your neck. So you're, you're lengthening the back of your neck as you reach up with the, with the crown, you're creating space in your cervical vertebrae. And that allows the energy to move up into your brain and you're able to communicate better between your, your body and your brain. And, and so there is this, this liveliness there. The uh, Chinese say the Jing Shen, your spirit of vitality. Your spirit of vitality is lifted. It's enhanced by opening your jade pillow gate. So relax your lower back, allow your pelvis to level out by dropping your sacrum. Reach out with your elbows just a little bit, just round, arms are slightly rounded. And point and reach with your index fingers to create some energetic coherence. And then just gently turn. So you want to feel your hip joints. You want to be able to release your tension in your hips, your butt, and be able to just sink down. So everything is kind of dropping into the, contacting the balls of your feet, reaching well, simultaneously, reaching up with the crown of your head and that contacts the yang chi of the heavens. So what we're, good, what we're doing here is we're establishing our three pillars. Energetic coherence, central equilibrium, and we're unkinking the hose. That is, we're removing some of the primary blockages that prevent the chi from circulating freely in your body. Yeah. So now, I want you to 
step forward with your with your right foot. We're just going to go right into the into the exercise and begin by sinking into your into your left heel and you're reaching out holding your imaginary ball there on that reach out with your elbows open your shoulder joints and then sink into the the heel of your right foot set the right knee and spiral down to the right and reach with your elbow Reach with your wrist, and then rotate your forearm, and you're getting into the ward off posture. Now just feel into that. You want to reach out with your elbows, so you're opening your shoulder joints. Your weight is 70, 75% in that right leg. Your back leg is almost straight. You're really, you're... Your body, if you, you look at it, it's slightly pitched forward. There's a, there's a, a slope there in, in this particular posture. So in this particular form, we want to have some, some um, forward slope there. So you're really sinking down into that, that right leg. Okay, so this is... Feel the energy. So you want to feel that expansive energy. So the energy is yang. It's opening up and out as you do this. Just feel that, that connection there. Now sink into the heel of your right foot and turn and reach out. So you're sinking down into your claw, but you're reaching out with your hand. So the arms are yang. The, the, your, your right leg is yin. And... Now you sink into the heel of your left foot and you're sinking to the left quad and you're spiraling down to the right. Because we're going to be turning to the left, so when we turn to the left, we want to first turn to the right. So now we're going to, we're loading up and now we're going to turn the body, go to the ball of your left foot as you turn and you want to feel the energy coming down and in now. And you're using that to direct the energy Oh, so, so like the uh, axle of a, your body is, is like the axle of a wheel. And so as you turn the body just a little bit, the circumference of the, of the circle, the, the wheel turns much greater as a result of that. So there's all the power that goes into sinking into your center is directed to divert the energy outward. Now sink in the heel of your left foot and spiral down to the left. You reach up with your wrists and relax your shoulders. Reach out with your elbows, opening the shoulder joints. So feel into that. Feel the heel of your right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left. You're loading up that, that right leg now. So we're going to be turning to the right. So we want to, first of all, spiral down to the left. So the arms are separated. So I'm creating energy by the poles in opposition. So now as I turn, I'm going to be compressing with my right hand is pressing in and my left hand is reaching out and very lightly touch the wrist of my, of my, uh, my right wrist with my left palm. So this is your your press or G energy, J I. So this is just feel into that now. So we have this compression, which is happening not as a muscular thing, but as an energetic thing. You are have the intention to compress with your right hand, your right and right arm. You're pressing and you're reaching out with your left reaching out with your elbows, opening up your back so that you're, you're feeling between your shoulder blades, you're feeling that expansion there in your, in your back. Now sink into your left heel, set the left knee, and as you sink down, yin, sinking down into your, your quaff, your reach up with your wrists. So feel that 
that yang impulse going up as your body goes down. Relax your, uh, your, your arms, reach out with your elbows, open your back, and then sink and you more and pressing down with your hands. So you're feeling the compression there. It's like you're taking a, um, a beach ball and you're, oh, you're pressing down on you. You feel the, the resistance of the space as you're pushing down. And then you sink into the right heel, push your right knee forward, and then feel the ball of your right foot. And as you sit down into your right, so we're not pushing away from the earth, we're actually, uh, we're sinking even deeper into the earth as we reach out with the hands. So here we get the onjin. The onjin is like this big wave. It comes down, it compresses, sink, and then whoosh, it comes pressing out. So then sink into your left heel, turn, and hold the ball. And then sink into your, you feel your right heel, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, and now go to the ball of your right foot and turn. Reach with your elbow. Reach with your wrists, reach with your fingers, and ward off. So your shape is, you want to end up with your, your hand right here in the center of your chest. So you're, you're coming like this, you set your elbow. So notice that my, my elbow is not moving at all. It's just rotating, my forearm is just rotating as I'm coming up here. I'm not opening, I'm just... So my form is rotating, so my hand ends up here, right in the center of my chest. My left hand, left palm faces the right palm. This case, my right arm is the yang, my left hand is the yin. And now sink into my left heel, and I'm sorry, sink into my, uh, oh, I'm, uh, so sink into my right heel, and I turn and open, reaching with the fingers sinking down into that right leg, sinking to the left leg, and turn, turn, and feel the down and in energy. Sink down and reach up, and we're loading up for, for our, our pong jin, sink into the right heel, right, set the right knee, and spiral down to the left, and then turn, and press. Feel the G energy. Sink into the left heel, set the left knee, reaching up with the wrists, reach down with the elbows, down with the wrists, press down, sink into the right heel, set the right knee and right ball and then push, reaching, sinking as you're reaching and then turn and we're gonna go roll back again. So each time we're gonna recognize that Oh, here we're going into Pong Jin. Get the feeling of that up and out expansiveness. And then we go into Lu Jin and feel that down and in rotation, sink. And then go to Ji Jin and feel the press. The ah, okay. And then sink into On Jin. Think, feel the watery. The big wave coming through, sink into the heel, the ball, and reach, and sink, and turn, hold, and sink into the right heel, turn, right ball, reach with the elbow, reach with the wrist, and turn, sink into the right heel, left heel, feel the lujin. Think G. Um. We're just using these exercises to create familiarity with those energies. So just take it and we're here at, at 
and push and feel into the the onion. What are we what are we doing? We're gathering here so that now the energy can come up and out. <coughs> Pause and feel into that. Feel the expansiveness filling your body. Sink into the left and feel the loo, feel the down and in energy. You have the chi chin, the press, <coughs> the compression. Feel the, the water energy, the wave here of the anjin. Step up. Relax. Pause for a moment, just feel into your body, feel into your hands, your arms, feel your whole body, just notice the energy that's circulating from having done those, those exercises. I step in, take a deep breath, inhale, Gather, reach up, go to the balls of your feet, feel the yang, and then sink into your heels and press down. Feel the yin sink. Throw all the chi away. Empty out. Great. Uh, let's uh, do the Yang Ching Fu to see the whole form now. Good. Okay. Let's begin.
Great. Let's uh, let's do the uh, last couple of moves of, of the uh, of the form now. So last uh, last time we got up to the uh, push. So the for the uh, from here we go into the cross hands. So what we're doing with this, we're we're going from our push here, yang. We sink down. We're going yin, and we as we turn, we're separating the hands. So this, what we're doing, we're, we're using you know, what's called rending energy or splitting energy. We're pulling these poles apart. You can imagine like pulling on a towel or something like that. You're, you're doing that only you're not using muscles. You're, you're kind of, you're just opening, but you're feeling the connection between the hands as you open. So you're Pulling that apart, so that splitting energy is creating jin by the fact of separating. So here we are. We're we're in this yang position. We sink in, so we're we're going to feel the heel of the left foot. We spiral down to the right, so we're loading up the 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 qua, the left qua, as we as we uh, sink into that. We're emptying out the right leg as we do that. We sink down. Notice what I'm not doing, I'm not rocking back like this. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm setting the, feeling the heel of my right foot and I'm spiraling down. Notice that my butt doesn't go back to my foot there. I'm emptying out my right leg by sitting down in my left. So I'm going from the, my push, I'm spiraling down. So I've, complete, I've shifted from my right leg being the substantial leg by spiraling down, I'm sinking down, so my left leg is now my substantial leg, and I'm I'm reaching here. So I'm going to be turning, I'm going to be splitting here between the hands. But what that also does, as I turn, the left arm is very young, and it's pressing outward. The right hand is holding its position, so we're pulling this apart, and this arm is like gets it's actually gets full of pong jin. As I'm as I'm filling it up here, it, this this is has that up and out kind of energy as I'm as I'm turning, I'm connecting this up to my, the my heel of my right foot or my left foot as I'm doing that. So the left hand is yang, but my right hand is yin. In this case, as I turn, I pivot on my right heel. So I'm I'm here. I'm open. Open my shoulders, open my back, reaching into that extension. Arms are still very, very relaxed, very loose, you know. But they're, mm, but they're also very full. So they're like, they're like a balloon that gets filled up with air. So we got there, had this, this something very soft and flexible, then gets filled up with something very insubstantial. In this case, our chi gets filled up. We. Feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee, and sink into that right qua, and step back with the left foot so that the feet are parallel. And I finish here. So I'm going from here, I spiral down, and I turn, pivot on the right heel. So here I am really nice and open. Open the chest, open the shoulders, open the back. So you're really exploring this yang is yang chi in the upper body, while the lower body is very yin, very sung. Step back with your left foot. Okay, so now you're back into a 50-50 stance here. You're reaching out, and then you sink into the balls of your, or actually the heels of your, of both feet as you sink down. You're coming down, sink, 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 sink reaching down and you get down here and just pause a moment and just feel that you've got very yin. You're loading up with lots of yin chi you're doing it. You can feel your, your arms very sung. Feel the chi in your hands as you're doing this. And then you, 
You're going to come up and going into the balls of your feet and expanding, 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 reaching with your elbows, reaching with your, you're opening your shoulders, opening your back, reaching with your wrists, your fingers, and your whole body is, is opening, even though you're in this compressed shape, you're packing all this expansion, this expansion into this shape here. So this is a, extremely young. Okay, you're whoa, you're you're really really expansive. So this is our cross hands. So again, we're going from our push. We sink into the left heel, spiral down to the right, loading up that left claw. Sink very yin, very swung, and then turn. Left hand is yang, right hand is yin. Pivot on the right heel. Open. Sink into your right claw. Spiral down. Step back with the left foot. And then back to center, okay, and sink. Drop down, yin, 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 yin. Gather, you're loading up, very compressed, very soon, and then coming up, open, 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 expand, but very contained, a very contained, young expansion. Reach, feel your, the space between your vertebrae or I'm sorry, between your uh, scapular. You know, the, uh, feel that you're along your spine there, that back opening as you reach out with your elbows, open your shoulders, reach with the crown. Everything is very young. And then, ah, uh, we're gonna let that all go. Sink into the heels, separate. And this is the closing. Reach down to the elbows, down with the wrists. Everything down, down, very yin. So we've gone from big, big, young, very compressed to ah, let it all go. Throw it away. Very yin, very soon. Feel your arms, feel your hands, feel the chi that's just gushing. Feel the, feel your, your blood circulating Feel the chi in your, in the uh, bone marrow. Let's do that again from, from the push. Here we go. So you your left heel, spiral down to the right and turn. Reach with, the, with both arms. And sink into the heel of the right foot, step back. And sink into both heels, sink down, very yin, 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 yin. Gather and then yang, open expansion. And then open and ah, go to your heels, elbows down, wrist down, very yin, 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 yin. And this is the closing here. Pause there a moment and feel into the yin, dissolve. And we go from that, we step in and we take it even further. We sink, we actually go into the balls of the feet as your arms come up, reaching upward, inhale, gather, gather, yang, 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 and then heels, and sink, yin, 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 reaching down with the elbows, wrists, fingers. And this time we go beyond yin, we go into the emptiness. We go into the wu chi. Throw it all away. Throw away the energy, throw away the thought forms, throw away the body, just dissolve. Take this opportunity to move into that Wu Xin, that, that no mind state. Where in that state, it's infinite potentiality and zero manifestation. It's something that we can approach, but we can never totally realize. But just being able to move in that direction has a very powerful effect on your state of mind. And very good. Okay.
Thank you. So let's uh, please uh, sit down. Let's uh, talk this over a little bit. Mm. Hmm. How was that? <laughs> Good. Good. Okay. Anybody have any thoughts? Anything you'd like to share with uh, the uh, the YouTube folks? Lynn. Lynn. I just wanted to say that I was um, I missed a couple of weeks ago when you worked on ward off, and tonight when we really when we were practicing the energies and I was feeling that coming in and expanding out connecting together that was super powerful. I could really feel like I could just step forward and send somebody to the moon if I needed to. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly it just felt good though. <laughs> Turn them out. Use your powers for good, not evil. Oh, okay. I didn't say who I was gonna send to the moon. <laughs> to the moon, Alice. <laughs> cool. Everybody else? Scott. Um, yeah, there was a couple of couple of points there that I hadn't couple of the energies and the yin and yangs there that I wasn't really aware of. And that was, uh, that really brought it together. It was really, uh, that was swell. Swell. That was swell. <laughs> Scott gives it a big swell. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was water involved, right? So you need a big swell. That's true. Got me there. <laughs> Valerie, you had something? Yes, um, I was practicing the form today, and I was sort of amazed at how, because when you introduce that, you know, like the outward hand is um, pressing in and the inward hand is pressing out, it just came so naturally. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I had, everything was more young before. Right before you had introduced that, and I—it's not like I'd been making this huge effort to really feel that or you know make that happen, be conscious of it. It just happened, and I realized it happened yesterday, and it happened today. It's just there, and yay! Yeah. <laughs> it, just that, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like I guess. Um, in my mind, it's like, well, duh, that's the way it was supposed to be. So, of course, when you recognize it, it's just going to happen. Yeah. So, yeah, come back to that. Excellent. So, to circle back to what I was saying at the beginning, it's like you know, we we have to think about it before we can before we can not think about it. You know, for it to just happen, we have to actually recognize that it is a thing. And it's there, and that, and that's like, oh, oh, and all the tens of thousands of times you've done that movement over the decades, you know, uh, was not wasted. It was just like it was just waiting there in potentia, you know, for for you to notice that it's it's a thing, and be able to then, oh, okay, well, that's easy. The transition becomes very easy at that point. It's like, oh yeah, and then you barely have to to give it any thought to be able to just just go there now. Terrific. Cool. Anybody else? Okay. All right. Thank you all so much. It's been great. Thank, Thank you, producer. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, stage crew. <laughs> Best boy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>